Hello everyone. Um, today we will create um, AWS VPC in a manual way and also including the VPC in the easy option. Um, firstly, let's look at the scenario we want to create it. There's in AWS Cloud, there was in one region, we pick up the US East one, and then in one variable zone, we're going to create you know, one VPC which cross with two different subnet. One is a public subnet and one is a private subnet. Each of them, ideally, if they can all go to internet, will be um, a good option. Um, but of course, the public subnet will be using the internet gateway, goes to the internet. A private subnet, we're going to use the net gateway, which stay in the public subnet, and then goes to internet gateway, go to the internet. So it makes the private subnet more secure. Of course, due to these two different type of subnet, uh, we will need two type of the public road table and the private road table for each of the subnet. And you can also see on the right side, we've been listed the public subnet road table and the private subnet road table. All right, let's come to the business. The first one is going to create the VPC and the subnet. Um, currently, I'm logging with in the um, US East one region, and currently there's only one VPC with the default VPC. We leave that option. What we're going to do is we're going to create a VPC. Um, at current stage, we try everything as a manual way, so that's why we're going to create it from scratch from now. So give a name called example VPC. Right. And we're using IPv4, which is 10.10.0.0/16. That's what we wanted. There's no IPv6 being assigned. Give the option, just create a VPC. All right, the first one is being created. Okay, next stage is go to the subnet, and we will go into creating a subnet um, for this VPC. So we can select an example VPC, and we give a name as a public one and every zone so we choose as the first one or any one doesn't really matter but we choose the one a just for easy um, recognition and ip address follow that map we're going to give 10.10.0.0 slash 24 yeah just make sure yeah or 1.0 sorry my bad yeah okay um also we add in a private subnet so we call it private subnet one, just call it public subnet one, and stay the same region. But this doesn't matter. You can also choose another um, WB zone. Um, doesn't really affect him too much for. But we just follow the um, uh, layout, All right? Then we choose the time of 10.10.2.0 slash 24. Okay. So basically, they got. By default, they have the tag name, so it's easy for us to tell which subnet they are for. Um, at current stage, as you can see, the two subnets have been created. And if we go back to our OVPC, selecting the example VPC in the rows map, you can actually find in the two subnets have been created. And also, that was default row table. Um, and currently, we don't have any internet access. All right, so this stage is finished. All right, let's come to step two, um, because we want to go to the internet. So first thing, we're going to create an internet gateway. Also creating a public road table, which you can associate it with the public subnet, so that everything in the public subnet, they can through this internet gateway goes to internet. And also from outside internet can also access in the public subnet. All right, when we come back to our screen. Um, so we were going to go in to go to the internet gateway first. Um, there was already default one, so we just create a new internet gateway, call as demo internet gateway. Right. Create internet gateway. Um, of course, at current stage, it is detached, which means there was none of the VPC assigned. So we have to do just go to actions, attached to VPC, and select from list as the one example VPC wants to be. So that internet gateway is attached. So if we go back our VPC, you can find it in the resource map. We already have a VPC being created. Of course, we don't have any road table for public subnet. The next option is go to the 
um, road tables. Right, they'll probably a bunch of other ones, but that's all right. We're just creating our road table. Give it a name called public road table. And pick up the VPC, example VPC we have, creating road table. Right, once we're creating road table by default, they will have the whole subnets um, as of one of the routes by default. And uh, what we're going to do is we can add in a new route, which we're going to say if we want to go everywhere, we want to target, it's going to be our Internet Gateway. So we move the Internet Gateway, and it will list the demo Internet Gateway we created before. Right, select our options, click Save Changes. Right, by now, if we come in, um, back to the VPC, you'll find in the Internet Gateway has been created, it's been given to Road Table, but none of the subnets have been associated with Road Table. So, next thing we're going to do is in the Road Table of the public we just created, we will be give association to the subnet if we want it. So, we're going to modify, edit to the subnet association, and we'll add in the public subnet. Uh, sorry, my typing is wrong. I should be typing the subnet. Yeah, must be some typo in there. Um, all right, give me a second. I'll just change that option. Um, all right, come back our road table again. Now, if I select in the public road table, go to the association again. Now, this time, should be able to add in a public subnet. Right. Once it's been finished, you can go back to VPC, go to the resource map. You can find in that actually the internet table um, in the gateway associated with public road table and also be associated with your subnet, which is a good one. Okay. Now stage, we have been done this step two, finished, and the public subnet has also been added as well. So let's move to the last step, which is the creating a NAT gateway in the private road table. Um, it's very similar. Only difference is we need to be creating our NAT gateway stay in a public subnet. All right. And uh, later on, we're going to create in a public road table, which will point to the NAT gateway instead of an internet gateway. All right. Let's come back to our interface screen. Um, so we move to the NAT gateway. Right, we're going to create in a NAT gateway, give a name called NAT gateway. And we'll use as a public because we want to go to internet. Subnet selecting, we have to pick up where we're going to stay in that gateway. Just keep in mind, it's always stay in the public subnet. And uh, we do need the uh, elastic IP allocation, so just from drop list is one option, or you can allocate an elastic IP. And uh, that was additional settings, but we don't need any special, we just leave as default. And then create a NAT gateway. All right, so as you can see, it's a pending. Um, just wait for a few seconds. It's going to be showing you what is the public IP address, um, what they're having. So it's currently on creating stage. If we refresh the page, right. so NAT gateway is normally take a little bit of time. So we'll leave that NAT gateway in here first. We go to our um, road table to creating our private road table. So come back to here, just creating road table. Call it private road table. Right. And we select in our VPC. In that case, is uh, just creating a road table first. Right. Once we've done this private road table, what we have to do is first thing is adding the roads. And uh, similar as we add the internet road, the only difference is go to the target. We will going to select the NAT gateway, not internet gateway. Go to NAT gateway. As you can see, the option is on the list. Click sa Save the Changes. Let's come back to our NAT gateway to see if they've been set up or finished. Well, as you can see, it's still pending. When I flush the page, no, 
for the pandemic means we still need to wait a little bit until this public summit is coming. So we just keep fresh in the page. Never mind for now. We just okay. Now after a few fresh, as you can see, it's available now, and they have their public IP address showing. And if we go back to our WPC and uh, look at our WPC resource map, right? So public subnet ta root table will still not be associated with the private subnet. So we will go to um, road tables, selecting our private road table, and go to subnet association. Uh, there's no association for now. What we can do just edit the subnet association, selecting the private subnet, click save. All right, now it's been added. So if we go back to your VPC again, check your example VPC in the resource map. If we're going to show you, you can find in the public road table goes to the Internet Gateway and the private subnet is going to the NAT Gateway. And another gateway stay in the public subnet. So eventually we come to this screen as we want it. All right, this is the everything do the manual way. You might think it's a very, um, was well, so many steps being involved. Um, there was an easy way we can achieve that as well. Um, this one, so I'm doing this manual way, just help you to understand in each stage what we need it. Um, so if you go to want to do like in automatically way, the best easy way just go to the VPC dashboard. If we create a VPC again, instead of selecting the VPC only, we can actually pick up a VPC and the more. In this case, if we give a name called demo two, right? Pick up, we just pick up the same um, IP before, um, address range, and the inner I was no IP way four. Um, we have been one of the zone as we need it, and we need a one public subnet and one private subnet. If you want to modify the subnets, we can even modify them. So this is the first one we want it, it's 24. And second, for my private subnet. Right. So these are two subnets being arranged, as you can see in this screen. And we can also have a NAT gateway enabled for our private subnet. So when you've done that, you can see now the private subnet has been created for a private, public subnet for public. Okay, and if we move down, we don't need S3 gateway, so we leave that empty. Enable the DNS option. Then everything just creating the VPC. So this stage is going to be creating everything automatically, and that will include in the public subnet, private subnet, internet gateway, <coughs> row table, and uh, um, allocating the elastic IP for your NAT gateway and eventually including the private road table and associated with the subnet. So this will take a little bit of time, we're just waiting here and until it finish. Okay, it's kind of like a waiting for one minute. It's going to create everything. So let's just review the VPC. In these cases, if we come back, this is demo two, and we enable the option. So they will do the exactly similar thing as we wanted. So they do have one public, one private, and public go to Internet Gateway, and private go to Net Gateway. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.